Yeah, got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. The Democrat Party. <laughs> y'all some damn clowns. <laughs> y'all got, y'all talk about y'all the party of diversity and change, and y'all got a bunch of old, decrepit, you got people that's disabled mentally. A bunch of y'all. Physically? <laughs> Some of them mentally and physically. Let me start with Feinstein. The party of the disabled. Yeah. Let's start with uh, Feinstein. Diane Feinstein. Right? How old is she? She's 89. Go ahead and bring up the first picture. This is when she, she's been out. 89? She looks 109. <laughs> she's up there. Look at her yeah. hands. Can you scan in on the hands? I mean, she's an elderly person. And some big-ass knees she got. They're probably swollen. <laughs> But her hands look in good condition. It's her eyes that bother me. Her yeah. eyes, one of them's closed and the other's red, you know. Like, so she got all these people around her and no Visine. Oh, Put they, a couple drops of H2O in that woman's eyes. So one no, of them will open up and the other one ain't be no, less red. Ain't no Visine going to cure that. But anyway, she, this woman is so old. There's black and white pictures of when she first went into Congress. You kidding Look. Yeah, it looks like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dorothy, man. But she looking good right there. Yeah. She has some pretty eyes on her. Yeah, I like that hairdo, man. Yeah. You know my mom used to fix uh, her aunt's hair, make her make the hair look like that? Yeah. Take that hot comb in it. Yeah, it was the white supremacist hairdo right there. <laughs> aunt used to come with an afro leave, hair straight and laid to the side, just like Feinstein. Yeah. So is that her name, Feinstein or Feinstein? That's Jewish, ain't it? I think it is. Stain Jewish, right? <laughs> Anything with stain in it. Hey, we better be careful. Be we got to be careful. You got to be careful. This is things. a Jewish woman <laughs> here. <laughs> right? But That's she, a protected class. We got we to gotta tread gingerly. Yeah, okay. So let me say this. Got to walk on eggshells. You're going to beat this dead horse for like three hours, ain't you? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Let me say That's a protected class, man. Okay, I get it. So, you got to be careful, man. I just want this video to come down. She's been out of work for like three months. She caught shingles. and She caught s shingles and survived, huh? Yeah, she caught shingles and her damn brain swelled. <sighs> brain swelled? She had encephalitis. Her damn brain swelled up in her freaking That's what, encephalitis? Encephalitis? Yeah, your, your brain swells. Your brain swells? I'll tell you what, if my brain swells, I'm retiring. Yeah, I'm going to stay home, look at TV, put an ice pack on my head. Yeah, I'm going to take it easy. But it gets worse. It gets worse, huh? Yeah, they interviewed some reporters, ran into her, mm -hmm. and uh, bring up the video. It's very disturbing. <coughs> You're feeling since you've oh, returned. I'm feeling fine. Yeah. I have a problem with the leg. The leg? Yeah. What's wrong with it? Well, no, nothing. Nothing? It's anyone's concern. Okay. But mine. Um, what has the response from your colleagues been like? What are the well wishes? What have you heard? What have I heard about what? About your return. How have they felt about your no, return? No, I haven't been gone. Okay. <laughs> um, you should follow me. I haven't been gone. I've been working. You've been working from home is what you're saying? No, I've been here. Um, I've been voting. Please, either know or don't know. This woman makes Joe Biden seem like, what's that dude? Albert Einstein. Shut up. This woman's been out for three months, but she claims she's been not working. That's how screwed up she is in the head. Yeah, she got some of that. Uh, she got some of that damn Biden going. Well, no, Kevin, she's 89. Not, she's eight years what you older call than it, Biden. Man? She's got uh, cognitive decline. Yeah, cognitive decline. I don't think it's dementia. I think she, she just forget things. I forget things. You forget things. She just probably forget more things. How can you forget you've been laid up in a hospital for three months? Your damn head, your damn brain is swelled up. Yeah, that's probably why she can't remember that their damn head and swole. <laughs> Her brain swole. That's got to call it. You can't remember stuff if your head is, if your brain is swollen. That's yeah. probably why she forgot, man. She's probably good now. She just needs some Visine and some crutches. She's going to bring up her leg ain't working right. He asked what's wrong with the leg, and she's like, that's none of your business. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next um, Democrat. <laughs> it's none of your business. Look at this dude. Grab the rail. 
man, it's dangerous. You see all that damn cement right there in the steps? <laughs> that dude is so lost. Hey, this dude know good and well he's been falling everywhere he's going. Yeah, I would go, I would walk to the rail and guide my way down. Yeah, if you did, if you would have fell, this is what you would have did. You would have stuck your hands out to brace the fall. Mm -hmm. Your hands would have shattered. You'd have broke all this. All this to be smashed all that up. been shattered. When you it wouldn't have broke, it would have been shattered like glass. <laughs> your, head, your, your, your hands would be like this, and then your face would have hit the ground. All this would be busted up. That, and that jaw is shattered. Oh, that's broken. You're going to land on one side. Your damn hip is busted. <laughs> be a good, good thing you didn't fall and hit that damn cement. Yeah, because he's shattering both them hands and risk that side of that face and that hip is gone. That hip is gone. They can't put you back together. You're going to be like Humpty Dumpty. Remember that, that nurse around Humpty Dumpty fell and couldn't put him back together? Now, shut up. You remember that, don't you? I remember. Let's go to the next Democrat. Damn federal. Simple reason we're here for one simple Goonies. reason. President Biden needs to consider using the 14th Amendment uh, if necessary. The entire GOP debt ceiling negotiation is a sad charade. Yeah. And charade. that's exactly what's wrong about what's wrong in Washington. We're yeah. playing with the livelihoods of millions just so the GOP can just turn the screws against uh, hungry Americans. Yeah. What? This dude is so unwell, he can't even wear a suit like everybody else. It's the Republicans' fault, huh? Everything's the Republicans' fault. Have you caught on that? Have y'all caught on that? Everything is wrong in uh, in America. It's the Republicans' fault. This would be a great country if it weren't for them damn Republicans. If we could just vote these damn Republicans out of office, this would be a utopia. Man, wish people show up and vote and get rid of these people. But this happens every year, this whole debt ceiling, yeah. because the government keeps spending all this money that we don't got. Yeah. And now we're at, we're at, a, um, we're at a stalemate over this. We're at a stalemate? We're at an impasse. because yeah, at a deadlock. Because Democrats are trying to stuff all this stuff in there, spend some more money. Hey, I just found out they sent another $135 million to Ukraine. Hey, how you— Or was it billion? It was million. Can't I think be it billion. was— It was millions, like $300 million? Something like that. Don't worry about it. Keep at a bad moment. Hey, man, if y'all just go, okay, so the government's been just printing all this money, right? Why we got to pay tax? Won't you just print? <laughs> yeah. That's Won't you, you help out the uh, the real Americans? Stop. Because we don't have that money. The money sent to Ukraine, they just print. Yeah. They, yeah. They, so we won't have to pay tax no more, so man. Y'all just stop taxing us, man. Y'all just print that money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Americans would really value that, man, if y'all did that, man. If y'all would just stop taxing us and just print this stuff. That's even worse. Yeah? How's well, that worse? Inflation. Well, got to pick your poison. Hey, I'm going to see you this Hey, age. how you Negroes uh -oh. feel, man? He's spending all his money on Ukraine, them white people, instead of giving y'all reparations, man. How y'all feel about that, Negro? <laughs> they put up this image of Joe Biden. Yeah. Look, good news. Inflation at its lowest rate in almost two years. <laughs> yeah, inflation like started like right when you went in office. <laughs> and it's come down, but it's still high as hell. Yeah, it's five percent, ain't it? That's high. Yeah. Well, why so, is he bragging about it? Because he know uh his constituents are brain dead. Man. I mean, think about it. Feinstein's in office. Fetterman is is in office. Yeah, he got voted in office by 81 million people. He got, There's yeah. a lot of dumb Americans in this country. <laughs> He's mean, actually bragging about inflation. He's like, twisting. He's gaslighting y'all. He's not going to tell you, man, inflation is down, but man, it's still over 5%. It's gaslighting. He's twisting your perception to gain an advantage. Then you got That's diabolical. That's corrupt. That's evil. And then you got this assistant press secretary. What's her name? Rachel Levine? That's the transgender, right? Yeah, the transgender. Sandy. The lady boy. She's the assistant health press secretary or something like that. She yeah. says it's it's affirming care for kids to get that uh, breast chopped off, mushroom tips chopped off, and take drugs and castration drugs and stop puberty. She thinks that's it's perfectly fine. Go and bring a picture back up. Yeah, man. That, that little Dorothy action she had going on, No, man. I want the old oh, picture. Yeah, no, not the Goonies looking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't see, I don't need to see that Sasquatch. Well, I like that picture. That's a yeah, nice I like picture. that picture. That picture turned me on, man. <laughs> Let's look at the today. 
scan in on it. Let me get in there that face action. Yeah, yeah, she just needs some Visine. That'll clear all that up. Man, you crazy as hell. What you going to do about the eye that's closed? Uh, eyes, some Visine and a facial. And a nice massage. Hey. She'll loosen up. Break it back up. <laughs> that's stress right there. That's muscle tightness. stand up to the dude at the top. <laughs> that dude look crazy, too. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> like, he like, you know, he reminds me of. He reminds me of Gargamel on the Smurfs. <laughs> Like he hunting for little Smurfs and shit. Like he got. That was a damn good show. Like he got a cat named Azrael. He probably do got a cat named Azrael. Azrael. <laughs> hey, if you want to watch more Harsh Twins, they got videos up here and down here. Don't forget, we're giving away a truck. It's a 2020 Chevy High Country. It's got the Duramax transmission in there. Tell them about the HD stuff. It's, it comes in HD. He's got it right there on the side of the truck. Yeah, truck got in HD. big tires and wheels. Yep. Man, it's a man's truck. Don't forget, you also win $10,000 in cash to pay the taxes for that truck. Yeah.